Okay, guys, I'm back. I apologize. I My battery went dead, so I just started doing the creases, and I thought I would come on and just show you guys um, what I did, rather than do it on camera, because it is a little bit, requires a little bit more skill, and um, it requires a little bit more um, precision. I'm going to say that. So um, it doesn't require any artistic ability or any real, real, real skill to do creases. It requires precision and uh, I guess patience. So here is the color that I mixed for my creases and uh, a little bit of my blushing. I used color number four, lip nail, lip blush nail, and some odorless thinner. And I'm going to show you how I did each piece. Um, first of all, you know, I put the, uh, the lip nail blush with my my craft stick in um, in my paint bowl with some odorless thinner and mixed it up real good and then um, this this is the brush that I used and what I wanted to tell you um, I'm going to actually take a look and see if that is in frame yeah I can actually go a little bit a little bit closer a little bit closer so that you can really 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 see what I'm talking about. I'm going to try and stay in this very frame here. <laughs> it's tough when you're doing this by yourself. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to get your paint on your brush and you want to brush it off on a paper towel because you don't want the paint to pool in the creases and it will it will do that so um, I just went over at least three times I went over each crease each crease each crease in the fingers and this remember this um, I also did a second layer of um, flesh 08 and I applied it with the sponge only with the sponge only. I put the paint directly on the sponge and sponged it on and didn't use the brush because I didn't want to wipe off what was already there because it hadn't been baked. So I did a second coat of Flesh 08. I let it dry and then this morning I came and I did the the creases at least three times. Um, right after, one right after the other. And what you're going to find doing creases is that, you know, you, when you used to color as a child, you had to stay within the lines. Well, you have to stay within the lines. And um, so, and you'll also have a tendency when you're doing the creases to kind of go over the line. So just take your cosmetic wedge and blend the ends so that they don't stick out and um, you'll be fine. What I also did in this layer is I put one layer of this color on the fingernails because I don't like the fingernails to be uh, real pale. I don't like them to be real dark either but um, I did put one layer. You can see how thin these layers are. Um, so then what I also did was I blushed the palm of her hand and the tips of her fingers and her elbow. And I just simply took my mop brush, put it in the paint, put a circle there, took my cosmetic wedge and pounced. And with the fingertips, I just did this with this brush and then took my cosmetic wedge and pounced. The same with the palm. So that's how I do my first layer of um, creasing and uh, blushing. I did the same thing with the legs. I'll show you. 
And going over this a second time will give you a second chance before you bake it to see any debris or specks that you, you want to get off. I found a few more that I just kind of did that and got them off. So the foot, I did the nails. I did the creases, each one, at least three times. And there's a lot, she has a lot of creases, especially these here. And then um, I took my brush, I put some of it on the heel, dabbed it, some of it on the toes and the, the pad of the foot and dabbed it with the cosmetic wedge and some on the knee and dabbed it with the cosmetic wedge. And you can already see the difference in her. She's starting to come a little bit to life. And pièce de résistance, the face. I'm going to show you her adorable face. And um, once again, let me make sure you're you're in the frame because I want you to really see her face. Oh, I can zoom out now a little bit. Yeah, I can zoom out a little bit. Okay, so what I did for her face was um, I put some of the blushing in the ear and in the creases of the ear, in her dimple, in her lips, in, the, in her mouth, in her nose, on the sides of her cheeks. There's a little crease there. And then once again, I put a little bit of, um, of the lip nail blush on the sponge and put it on her chin to give her chin a start and also on her cheeks. I wanted her cheeks to start getting a little pink and the tip of her nose. And then I also uh, went over the creases of her eyes, across her nose, her cupid's bow, the other ear, and um, she has a couple of little tiny creases here, but that is basically all I did with, um, with her face. But look at how she's already starting to come to life. So that's creases. Um, creases does not require a lot of skill. It does not require uh, artistic ability. It requires precision. And um, of course you choose the color that you like for your creases. A lot of people use the Bountiful Baby Crease color. Um, I find that a little too brick in color. A lot of people use uh, the Warm Blush. Again, I find this a little too brick color. A lot of people use uh, the Bountiful Baby Red uh, 04 or something like that, which is perfectly fine, or the red. I like to use the Lip Nail Blush for my um, blushing and creases. So I'm going to uh, do a layer of mottling on her next, and I will be sure and come on camera to show you uh, how I do that. So. Okay, that's it. I'm going to shut off my light, turn off my camera, and hope that you were able to see and learn how to do creases. Okay, love you guys.